reports from committees, committee on ordinances, council returns, and passive chair. Next is the following recommendation is to be adopted as amended. Item 36, the ordinance amending the code of ordinances to add section 11-1.1 entitled Harbor, Moorings, and Anchorage. Thank you, Mr. President. Whether we approve agenda item number 36 for the first time on roll call vote. Second. Motion. Motion is made and seconded. Agenda item number 36 for the first time roll call vote. Any discussion? Maybe not. Council President Hunter. Aye. Councilman Castillo. Aye. Councilman Coria is absent. Councilwoman Harris. Aye. Councilman Hassett. Is absent Councilman Igliosi. Councilman Jackson. Councilman Jennings is absent. Councilman Matos. Councilman Narducci. Councilman Principe. Councilman Ryan. Councilman Salvatore. Aye. Councilman Yerden? Aye. Councilman Zuri? Aye. 12 ayes, 1 abstain. Abstention, 3 absent. The motion carries. 11. I apologize. 11 ayes, 1 abstain. The motion carries. The matter passes for the first. Special Committee on Municipal Operations and Oversight, Councilwoman Joanne Bryan, Chairwoman, transmits the following with recommendation the same be approved. Item 37, resolution in opposition to the Invenergy Power Plan and expressing concern to the proposed use of Providence Water. Thank you, Mr. President. How do we approve agenda item number 37 on a voice vote? Second in motion, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, thank you. I, um, an allegation, I just want the body to be aware, an allegation was made that uh, the Municipal Operations Committee did not follow the open meeting floor uh, regarding this item, item number 37. I'd like to ask the solicitor at this time if he could confirm that the committee followed the open meetings law and all appropriate procedures of the council body. After reviewing the allegation of uh, the alleged violation of the Meetings Act, conclusion that the Meetings Act was not violated by the committee in the time of this hearing, uh, where an allegation other violations. Uh, Can you repeat that again, please? I didn't hear that. It's my conclusion that the committee did not violate the Meetings Act in its conduct. Thank you. Thank you, Council President. Uh, the resolution before us we talked about at the last Council meeting expresses opposition to the proposed fossil fuel plant uh, in Burrowville. Uh, it also opposes the use of Providence's water for that plant and requests additional resources or additional information from the city solicitor and the Providence water supply about the legality of the deal. Uh, we heard some testimony at that committee meeting and out of it some proposals were here tonight to attempt to address state law and, and I look forward to those proposals uh, being discussed and moving forward. Now, at this point, more than 20 cities and towns in Rhode Island have passed resolutions in opposition to this plant. And th there's some reasons why. Uh, they know that the plant is bad for the communities that are going to live in the shadow of the plant itself. They know that it's bad for the communities that are being devastated as a result of the production of fracked gas, whether it's in Pennsylvania or New York. And they know that it is bad for our climate. We're talking about a 40-year lifespan of a plant that will burn fuel that we know is one of the most significant factors in causing climate change. And so it's for this reason that I urge my colleagues to support this, because we look around, how many days are we into this new administration? 
I think it's 13 days into a new federal administration, and one of the agenda items is to dismantle environmental protections that people have fought so hard for. And it's fallen upon, even more than ever, upon local and states and state governments to stand up and to make sure that we preserve the things that are important uh, to our communities and to the country. So I urge support on this item. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I truly rise and ask my colleagues to uh, support this resolution. Um, for me, I personally feel it should be an insult to all of us that our province would, um, that we pass their budget, we pass their compensation plan, their transportation plan, and um, we have to pass their whole budget in that they're very much governed by agencies such as the Public Utilities Commission, such as the Environmental Protection, uh, commission and a bunch of other the Department of Health, and then we can then we can sell our, uh, our water to a town that's unregulated, and they can make a profit off of it. So I think that's again a big a big decision a, a, a big mistake that we're selling water to unregulated other water supply companies that can make huge profits and actually will be part of probably a high percentage of their citywide budget if this goes through. Um, and also, I'm not naive enough to realize, you know, we're never going to get off the use of fossil fuels, uh, but we should be moving towards other sources that are also uh, acceptable, such as wind energy, solar energy, geothermal. I know we're never going to be 100 percent away from fossil fuels, but again, we don't want to see our water be used in an instant where it could come back to like Flint, Michigan. So I urge my colleagues to support this resolution. <laughs> Mr. President, if there's no objection from the sponsor, I would like to be listed as the co-sponsor. Okay. Councilwoman Harris, any questions? Councilwoman Harris, any questions? I'm noted. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Councilwoman Thank you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.